Hi, Joanna here, founder of Wounds Scars. I'm so glad that you can join us. Um, this month over on our website, I am dealing with um, sexual abuse. And so this morning, I want to talk about the real impact of sexual abuse. What is that? What's the impact? What are some of the ways in which that it can affect our lives? Also, I must tell you, it's not really um, advertised yet, but I'm giving you a little sneak preview into it. On the 26th to the 30th of March, we're having an emotional healing summit. Um, there's going to be the, the advert out where you can register, but I thought I just wanted to tell you about it. And just to let you know that, just encourage you to, to register and to sign up. Um, in, in one of the speakers for the summit is an educator around abuse. And as we were talking about it yesterday, she said, you know, isn't it sad? And, and I totally agree with this because this is what I experienced that we don't talk about abuse. We don't say the word. We don't say sexual abuse. It's it's unfortunately still taboo. Still, people are ashamed. Um, people don't want to talk about it. When you talk about it, sometimes people cringe. Isn't it sad that that's the case? I think it's really sad that that's the case. And so, but we need to get past our discomfort and get it out there so that we can begin a conversation so that we can make it okay for our children if anything happens that they can come and speak to us that we we can feel okay with saying this is my experience this is what i've had to work through and not feel any shame around it it's an era that has a lot of secrecy a lot of shame unfortunate it's unfortunate because that shouldn't happen when so many people are suffering and struggling I can't join the let's keep it a taboo circle. I have to say the words. I have to make it known that, you know, this is something that people are experiencing and that it's not okay. So the real impact of sexual abuse, what is that? Now, I, I really deliberately put that there. And if you're listening and this is your experience, you know, bear with me. Um, because is, is, it, is there a, a one impact or two what I know is that sexual abuse impact, it, it, it just is one of those things that cut across our lives. It can affect our parenting. It can affect um, our marriages. And I'm writing about that. It can affect our friendships and our interpersonal relationships. How we function at work, how we function at college, how we function in school, how we do day-to-day -day life. It, it has such an effect that it cuts across every area of your life. I'm gonna give you an example of how it impacted my parenting. And I've had to work through that in therapy because I didn't want, and I had to make the decision to, to, to do that because it, it takes so much from you that I didn't want it to take that as well. And I heard another lady say that in, her, in an interview that she was doing on the BBC Radio 4, that it, it takes so much of your life that if you don't make the decision to heal, you're giving it more. You're giving it more. And so I don't want you to do that. I want you to make the decision to heal so you're not giving it anymore. You're not giving your, your, the perpetrators any more leeway. You're not giving them any more of your lives because you're going to claim it back and take it back. So my parenting, I was going to talk about my parenting. So when I used to leave home, my children, I would call my husband several times because my husband's a really social man. He, he loves people. People love him. And he likes to invite, let's invite this one and that one for lunch. And I'll be going, no, 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 we can't. And so if I'm not home, I'd make sure I call several times just to say, where are you? Who are you with? Can you see the children? Make sure they don't sit in anybody's lap. Don't call that one uncle because he's not your uncle. And all of that kind of stuff. And you know, it really used to get him annoyed because he said, I'm their dad and I know how to protect them. But in my head, he didn't know this bit. He didn't know this bit. He needed to know this bit. And so um, if anybody comes by and the children, you know, my children, especially um, my son, um, is, is, is love language is touch. And so he likes to hug. And when he was smaller, even more so. Um, and I had to really, really educate him in not going to hug everybody. Um, and not um, sit on anybody's lap. That, that was a big thing for me. Don't sit on anybody's lap. So if I walk through the door 
and a friend of ours were there and the children were sitting on his lap i'd immediately say get down sit on a chair uncle's lap is not a chair um but and i think that was okay that was okay then they don't they sit on anybody's lap they can sit on a chair however i was stressing my husband out and I, I think i was stressing myself out i was panicking to such an extent that um i didn't feel safe going anywhere or letting them out of place or doing anything and i think that could be such a limiting place and i had to accept as i was working through that one not everybody was unsafe i mean i didn't know but two i'm not god and i had to let him go ahead and, and protect them in the way that he protects because he's our protector and I had to kind of just trust that process and educate my children and be comfort comforted in the fact that I was giving them tools but I think one of the things that really kept me longer in that place was will I be able to get over it if anything happens to them I kind of make a decision I was going to blame myself because I, I, I should have known better so I had to really work through that. So, and it took me a while to work through it, to come to a place of acceptance and to move on from it and have a healthier, and have a healthier balance um, as I enforce the boundaries um, and be healthier about it and not stressed and, and anxious and paranoid. Um, so those are some of the impacts of abuse. I don't know what the impact is in your life, I just know that whatever it is, that you can move through it, that you can overcome, that you can heal from it, and you can grow through it, and you can gain ground and become stronger and stronger day by day by day by day. But you have to make the decision. You know, we don't get healing if we don't make the decision to process it. And I wouldn't be serving you if I kind of help you stay in the place that you're at and not challenge you to step out of that place and to grow through the hurt and the pain, to seek support from a professional, um, through a course, through a retreat, through a membership, wh whatever you do, don't stay comfortable in your discomfort. Step out and make the decision to deal with some of the effects as it is in your life. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Have an awesome day. Bye.